Okay, so I got a sketch here going to the Hulk. And I've seen the comic people do drawing from a sketch and got a couple of markers, so I'll get into this. So I'll try to move this camera a little bit closer next time. So it's more uh, towards this side. But for now, that's all I could do. I'm going to see if these are thinning enough for the face. Might be okay. Might be a little wide. That's all I got. got all I got. So uh, you really stay hard. We bring this full figure. Uh. For school, it'll be a lot better to put in some full on. Poses. So here's all shadow. Without investing much money in art supplies, so I think this is going to be enough for what I want to do for my marker drawing without spending a lot of money at the art store. And I think for pants this one's a bit wider or it's a little bit thinner. It's a sharp edge. So. I only spent about five bucks on the markers, but I'll probably have to invest into uh, some paper as well. They probably don't have long paper like this anymore. And I think comic book paper is very expensive, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm almost done with the outline. It's good to have your sketch made. So you know where you're going. You can try it freehand if you're up to it. But if not needed, then don't do freehand. If you could get away with the sketch. That's all I would do for for him. Uh, the dollar store markers work kind of well without having to invest into a bunch of art supply products, Copic markers, and all that junk cost money. Uh, this is the. Uh, I could put over here. Comics. So if you're feeling up to it, you can shade out the whole background. But usually, I just like to sign it. With the shading with the so this marker is okay for shading. This marker is okay for outlining, but it's a little bit too wide. But without investing into the really fine markers, they're about five bucks, ten bucks to work on the head. So you'll have to invest into better markers for sure. I don't want to do that right now. Because I don't have the budget for this kind of drawing, but just get a little something done, I think it's enough. 
But usually I think for a full figure you will need to get some fine markers and shading to get, get away with the basic marker I think so. And the background even could get some ink and blot, blot it out in ink or in black paint. Probably black paint would be better than ink I think. I don't like using ink that much. But for markers it would be okay to try. And probably would darken this out in the ink or something. Get a little ink on there. It will give the teachers a little something to look at. That you could do a little bit of shading and something different. Don't always show them everything in one 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 thing like 20 pages in one marker or one watercolor. You show them something a little bit different each uh, one. Uh, show them maybe two or three in this style, two or three uh, in portraits. So then, uh, that's how you put together the uh, book. I can probably put together a comic book this way, so I might do that, I don't know. Buy an empty book and just uh, paste them in, glue them in, I can show you that. Thanks for watching. I'll try to move the ca camera so it's somewhere about here next time. I need like a stand or something, so we'll see how things go with this. If I could get a little bit more supplies coming in, I don't know. I'll have to get a little bit more paper at some point, so might have to buy some kind of larger sketch pad or something. Thanks for watching.